Hi, happy Sunday. It's almost the end of the day. I almost thought I was going to get to my video today for law number three on the laws of the universe. And, um, but I made it. You see what I did today though? I finished. I finished the whole uh, progressive, no, not progressive, prosperity hand. I got my 16. That's how many I wanted to make. And I got them all on there. And I got them hanging on the end of my rack there where I do my macrame. I got my ring ready and my twine ready because I'm going to start. This is going to make a tree. A, a um, tree of life. Oh my God, I need a new brain. <laughs> I need a new brain really bad. So anyway, thank you for coming to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for being new. If you are you if you're a returning friend, <coughs> oh my gosh, I thank you. Bless you. Bless you. Yes. And so what we're doing, I'm doing for 12 days is the 12 laws. The 12 universal laws. And we're on law three, which is the law of attraction. What is like unto itself is drawn. The law of attraction. So I I get this information off of a website called Wellismo, W-E-L-L-I-S-M-O, and the link is below the video. And so, but the third law of the universe is what it's like. What, what did I just say? It's the law of attraction. So we've talked about the law of oneness, the law of vibration, and now the law of attraction. And it says what what is like unto itself is drawn. And that's you attract. You know, you attract people like like for my channel, I attract mostly people that are like me. They might be around my age. Most of them are younger. Some of them are not old. And, um, and then also, because I do crafting, those are the kind of people that come to my my channel, is the crafty kind of people. You know what? I watch a couple of videos that are Timu haulers, and Lord have mercy, they have got thousands and thousands of, of subscribers, and then every one of their videos got hundreds and hundreds of views. That means there's a lot of shopaholics in this world. <laughs> but anyway, back to what I was doing. Okay, this is the most well-known of the universal's law, universal laws going back to the law of vibration. We know that everything has a unique vibration. Law of attraction says that the vibrations with the same frequency are drawn to each other. Higher frequency thoughts attract more of the same, just as lower frequency thoughts attract more of the same. When you can maintain a high vibration, you'll notice that things just naturally seem to go your way and that the things that may typically irk you really don't seem to matter. And then it says why it doesn't work. Most people like to use the law of attraction techniques to attract things into their life, a partner, a better job, more money, etc. This is sometimes successful, but most oftentimes not. If it was, we'd all be living on, in our dream homes and be happy with our bodies. Yeah, but we're Jackie, not. Jackie. What? What? That's your Gigi? <laughs> Oh, how nice. Oh, what did you say? Oh. Her. Oh, okay. That's Kaya. She come in to see us. She was showing me a picture of her Gigi. That's her other grandma. Her other grandma is Gigi, 50 years old. And here I am, the old grandma, because I'm 74. I'll be 75 very soon. Okay, anyway. Most, now. There are many reasons that people don't find results with the traditional law of attraction techniques 
which I will get into in future posts. One reason is that they don't realize there are 11 other laws to consider that work in conjunction with this one law. Another reason is that they are not matched to the frequency of their desire. Wanting is not enough. You need to embody the frequency you desire. And then it says, we get what we vibe, not what we ask for. We get what we vibe, not what we ask for. I'm sure everyone knows someone who can relate to this. Brad wants to attract the man of his dreams, and he complains that all the good ones are taken, and that dating apps are a waste of time. Brad's doubt, Brad's, Brad's doubt is not aligned with the frequency of the love that he's seeking. He's giving off vibes of lack and frustration as opposed to abundance and love. What he needs to do is get clear about his own personal energy around the topic of love and align his thoughts and actions with that. Now, that this doesn't mean that he should pretend he's not frustrated. I'd suggest that he finds a way to genuinely pivot his way from frustration to love. More on that later. Now, this is written by this author of this here, right? And so then his advice is, you are a magnet and your experiences are manifestations of the energy that you give off, either consciously or subconsciously. Look around you and realize you're, you're attracting the circumstances of the reality you're living right now. And so that's what it says about the law of attraction. And so, and I think most of us are probably quite, um, quite knowledgeable about the law of attraction because you do attract people of your kind, of your type. People, you know, like people who like to play golf, they probably, most of their circle of friends are probably people that um, play a lot of golf. And now in our divided country, you know, Democrats attract Democrats, Republicans attract Republicans, and they're splitting our, well, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get into that. But, but nonetheless, the law of attraction, like, like I said at the beginning, you know, um, I like to do a lot of crafting, so I, I am drawn to people who like to do, draw, do a lot of crafting. I love art. I don't really consider myself such an artist, but I love art, so I am, I am, I am one who, uh, I am attracted to people who like the arts. And um, I, I, I'm concerned sometimes about the younger generation because a lot of the younger generation are not yet knowledgeable about the law of attraction. Some are very knowledgeable, some are not, which sometimes that pulls young middle schoolers or whatever into the wrong crowd because it might look fun. That's not the attraction working. It's just looking like it's fun. And um, how do I say that? I, you know, without, you know, I worry, I worry about the younger generation getting in, in, <clears throat> now see I'm getting lost. I worry about the younger generation hanging out with the wrong crowd, just because the wrong crowd is fun. It seems to be fun. It may not really be fun, but it just kind of seems to be fun. And so, 
but maybe those kids that you're going to hang out with that you think are going to be fun are um you know what i'm doing this goofily i shouldn't be doing this goofily i just want to turn this okay I'm, i i want to wrap this ring <laughs> that's what i'm thinking about doing right now i need to attract some smarter people but um but yes then the then but if you really really are going to be a part of that law of attraction then you will look for people that are more into what you like or something i forget what i said about the young kids because i get confused there but yes the law of attraction is pretty much self-explanatory and when we talked yesterday about vibrational right the law of vibration is pretty much the same thing you know what i need to do i need to i know what i need to do this is going to be hard if i don't first put this all into a a little clip or something um Yeah, I guess today I missing my gift of gab. Who is that behind me? I see somebody coming through. You, do you all recognize that person back there? Got a hole in his shirt. It's a booger. A booger. Okay, what are your thoughts on the law of attraction, Papa? What are your thoughts on that? Uh, it, it, what attracts you is what you. What you look at, what you look, what you look at, or what you look for. Okay, all right. And so, what attracts you? You. Me. Because I have purple hair. Yeah. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. this isn't gonna work. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta go to the road. You're gonna run to the road and back. Okay. I ain't gonna run. You're not going to run? Okay. Gonna He's going to wobble. See, the law of attraction attracted me to that man uh, like 25 years ago. And um, it was a pretty good attract, I think. I do too. Yeah. So I've, uh, he's not thrown me to the curb yet or anything like that. So that's good. And so... Yes, so I, my thoughts on the law of attraction really is um, a lot like the law of vibration, I think. And I, I'm, for some reason, I'm just totally speechless tonight. <laughs> totally speechless tonight. And so, huh, I guess maybe I shouldn't be trying to wind this rope around and talk at the same time. But yes, and like I say, most of my subscribers, well, I would say all of my subscribers have an interest in, in crafting, arts or crafting, um, and that is why you all keep coming back. You think, well, maybe one day I'll learn something and I can show you something you've never done before. Well, that's probably not going to ever happen, but you keep coming back anyway. And so, but there's a lot of things, you know, that, you know, I will watch on, on YouTube, though, that are, I don't, I'm watching because I enjoy watching. I might not be so much that I want to go do it myself, but I love to watch things like, like abandoned places, people find old abandoned houses, and and those are fun to watch. I like to watch them. For some reason lately, I like to watch ships, and so I'm not sure. Maybe maybe in one of my past lives, I was in the navy or something. Okay, I'm I'm um kind of don't have a whole lot to say about that particular law, law of the time the um tomorrow now it will be the law of correspondence 
as above, so below. Now, I should have had that one ready for today, too, because for some reason, the law of attraction, just to me, almost... I've got to study on it a little bit more, read that page a little bit more, and then understand it. See, I'm getting this wrapped around here. And and so, there might be some days that I'll do two two laws in one day if I, um, if I would have really studied this one a little bit more before I, um, before I picked up the phone here, then, um, I would have probably had more to say. Sometimes I have a lot to say. Sometimes I, sometimes I have big, big knots, and for some reason I have a big knot. But anyway, on this here project that I'm going to make, how in the world did that get so twisted on there that I cannot... Oh, just now I was, I had on my computer, I turned, you know, the video on and I turned the computer on and onto YouTube and it just plays one thing after the another. And so I was just watching on something about the Church of Scientology taken over Clearwater or something. So I don't know what that is, Church of Scientology. So I have to listen to that because I'm just nosy. I need to know that stuff. So while I work on this, I'm probably going to learn about the Church of Scientology to see if that's science. I don't know. Maybe. And Clearwater isn't very far from where I am, but I am one who have pretty much days in my own neck of the woods. And so I don't know about many places even close to where I live. I'm kind of not a, I'm not a world traveler, no, or, or I even be even a state traveler. But I'm going to be just working on, on this, getting this done. And maybe once I get this whole thing wrapped all the way around, then I might go ahead and um, start another little video that shows, shows, um, how I'm going to work the tree of life into this. And I think that'll be fun. And so, I'm going to just put that down right now because I have to concentrate to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to have the great big knot out of my cord here. But anyway, what I'm doing is I'm going through the 12 laws of um, universal laws. And so, yeah. And so now that was the law of attraction. Yesterday was the law of vibration, the law of oneness. And there's a lot of websites too you can go to that will it, that'll help you to educate you on what the laws of the universe are. And I just find them to be very, very interesting because they are all such common sense. So I'm going to leave it at that for right this very minute. And you know what I did today? I cleared off my desk a little bit. And now where did I put my book? Where did, where did it go? Where did it go? See, this is why I just need to leave my whole area. Oh, here it is. I need to leave my, oh, I washed my hair. And, and then I dried it with a curling, like a blow dryer brush. I just bought it for myself. I just did. And then... And then I even put hairspray on there. I'm telling you, I'm getting pretty fancy in my old age, if you ask me. Pretty fancy. See, I've got a little hairspray on there so it will stay nice. I still haven't found my makeup bag. I don't know what I did with that. I put it somewhere where it'd be safe, and it's safe. But I got a nice little bag I put all my makeup in. So it'd all be in one spot, and then I lost the bag. It's a little got flamingos on it and it's beautiful. I'll find it though. It is around here somewhere. Okay, anyway, I'm going to open this book to right here. Ooh, the blessing of sharing. And here we are, Helen Steiner writes. The blessing of sharing. Only what we give away enriches us from day to day. For not in getting, but in giving is found 
the lasting joy of living, for no one ever had a part of sharing treasures of the heart who did not feel the impact of the magic mystery of God's love. Love alone can make us kind and give us joy and peace of mind. So live with joy unselfishly and you'll be blessed abundantly. Live with joy. And there, you live with joy and you're going to attract people with joy if you go around with a frowny face all day and everything makes you grumpy then you're gonna attract them old grumpy people just like it i'm telling you it's all common sense okay i ask god to watch over you every step you take every move you make keep you safe and secure happy and humble and healthy 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 and stay happy and keep smiling. You know, even if you feel like a, like um, a rock fell on your head today, just smile anyway. And be happy it's not stuck in your head. God bless and keep you, and I'll see you either later or tomorrow. God bless. God bless. God bless. I love you. And our mouse tells us to go right here and click.